for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our video series on creating CSS layouts. In uh, the previous two videos, we saw how to create the HTML for this page. And in the last video, we saw how to begin to format this div-based HTML layout with CSS. We basically formatted the content area along with the header and the footer. In this video, we're going to see how to format this navigation menu into um, a horizontal rollover menu. And to get an example of where we're going, I'm going to go ahead and open up the sample file here and go into Live View. Oops. And you'll see the rollover menu that we're creating right there. Now, I already have my navigation div style created here. And I'm going to go ahead and specify a couple things right off the back. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to set the width of this div. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 600 pixels. I could do 100%, but I'm going to specify it as pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and set the background color of this div to like a dark gray. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in there. And we'll click over here. And you'll see there's a little bit of a difference. I can see the gray that's in there now. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin to work on the different individual styles that are going to build that navigation menu. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by going and opening up another style for the nav div. And this time it's going to be to format the unordered list or the UL. So I've gone ahead and opened up that style. And the only thing that I want to do here is I want to zero out the margin and the padding. And that way I know I'm not, I'm always working, when I'm working with my li and my a tags, there is no extra space. And you'll see that space above the ul disappeared there. Let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and comment this out really quickly. And you'll see that margin space up there. If I re-highlight it and right click, I can go ahead and remove the comment. And now when I click, you'll see the margin is gone. So nothing fancy for the UL there, just removing the margin. Now I want to go ahead and set the properties for the LI items that are inside of my unordered list. And I want to go ahead and remove the bullet. I'm going to go ahead and say list style type and none. And again, with some of the properties we're going to add a little bit later on, it'll automatically remove the bullet for you. But just to make sure all browsers don't display it, you want to put that property in there. And then finally, I'm going to go ahead and say that I want this to display, or the items inside of these LIs to display not as um, block level elements, but as inline elements. So I want them to line up next to each other. We're going to format the A tag as blocks. You'll see how that works there. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And when I click over here, you'll see some of the changes that we've made. Now they're being displayed in an inline fashion as opposed to on top of each other. Now I'm going to go ahead and again open up another nav style, or another style for the nav div, or specific to the nav div. If you're not familiar with this format of writing style names, this is called a descendant selector. In other words, I'm going into the nav div, and anytime I find a UL that has an LI in it, apply these styles. We have another video that goes more into working with descendant selectors. But in this case, I want to begin to create a style for my anchor tag, or my A tag. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to specify it as only A's inside of list items because I only want it to apply to my navigation and uh, to list items inside of my navigation. And let's go ahead and begin to put in some properties. First thing I'm going to do is set the display property to block. And that's going to allow me to put some padding on these. 
And I'm going to go ahead and say I want 5 pixels of padding top and bottom and 20 pixels of padding left and right. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and put a color property in here just so that we can read those elements a little bit better. I'll click over here. You'll see we have had some changes. One of the changes is that they've reverted to being on top of one another. And that's because when I display things as a block level element, it's going to do that for me. So what I want to do is I want to remove that with the float property. I want to float these items to the left. In other words, each individual item is going to float as far to the left as it can until it butts up against another one of my elements. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and click right over here and you're going to see it, it disappeared. Don't panic. Whenever you do a block level float like this, you actually need to come on out to the div level and allow it to float. So I'm going to go ahead and put that same float property on the div. Float left. And now I click and now I have my navigation box. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and take the underlines off of my list items there. Save that right there. And I also want to add a hover effect. You remember when I hovered over the buttons in Live View, it gave me an effect. So again, this applies just to items in the Nav View and only when the hover effect is on. And I just simply want to change the background color. And I'm going to go ahead and select uh, like a dark green here. Close that style off and save it. And click over here. And now you'll see I've got that rollover. <clears throat> On our original, we actually had dividing lines to the right of each one of those buttons so the individual items look more like buttons. And again, we can do that on the A tag. So I'm going to go ahead and do border right. And this is going to be a one pixel uh, white solid border. I'll save it. Click over here. Now you'll see those right hand borders appear. And now they look a little bit more like buttons. And I'm going to go ahead and right click right here and do save all. And then I'm going to go ahead and select preview in Google Chrome. And there is my finished product in all of its glory. A layout set up completely with divs and CSS, including this menu. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.